What is Stage Manager and should you use it? Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Apple's Stage Manager. It's available on Mac OS and iPad OS and you might be wondering if you should be using it. But before we get into that answer, please take a moment to like this video if you found it useful. Click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. All right, so what is Stage Manager? Stage Manager is a way to organize your desktop and I would say somewhat of a focus mode for any app you're working on. It takes an app and puts it front and center on your display and then it takes the other apps that are open and slides them off to the side of your screen. You can still command tab to scroll through your apps and that will fast switch to them. You can also click on an app from the side to switch to it. Oh, you can also group apps. So for example, you might have notes open along with Chrome. Chrome and Notes can be a group that work together. When you switch to another app, both Chrome and Notes will stay grouped together and move to the side of the display. First up, let's look at how Stage Manager works on Mac OS. All right, let's look at Stage Manager in uh, Mac OS. And I've got my desktop shown right now. I personally, when I'm on my widescreen monitor, I don't use Stage Manager. Um, if you take three fingers and swipe up on your trackpad, you can go into a mode like this. And this is usually how I jump between windows. If I need to pull up a new window, I'll come over here. Um, so let's turn on Stage Manager and you can see how it cleans up your desktop. So to get to Stage Manager up at the top right of your menu bar, there's the Control Center. And if I click on Control Center, uh, Stage Manager will be there. And if I click on Stage Manager, it has turned on. So you'll see on the left hand side, the apps that I had open are now on the left. And let's say I'm in Chrome right now and I needed to, um, maybe I want to group a couple of apps together. So I want to take Bear uh, for some note taking and I want to bring that over here. And now I've got Bear and Chrome grouped together. But now let's say I want to go and check my feeds. So if I click on my, uh, my RSS reader app, that's going to bring that up into the center and that's going to be the focus now. And I can go through my feeds and look at that and, and maybe I want to jump back over to this group and I can, I can jump back over here. You can also do a command tab and you can switch between your open apps as well. Um, so let's say I went back to Bear and it'll bring up that group and if I go back to my reader app it'll take take me back there. So that is, um, that's basically stage manager in Mac OS. There's nothing really crazy going on there. Uh, let's look at how you, the, the system settings for it. So in system settings, if you scroll down a little bit and go to desktop and dock, click on that. And then a little ways down, you'll see desktop and stage manager. And this is where you can control the settings for stage manager on Mac OS. Like I said, not a lot um, to stage manager and Mac OS in my opinion. I think where it really works well is on iPad OS. And we're going to take a look at that right now. Where I think Stage Manager shines a little more is using it with iPad OS. It lets you take something like this and turn it into something like this. Now this is a completely portable setup with a USB external portable monitor connected to an 11 inch iPad Pro with a travel keyboard and magic mouse. You could also use a magic trackpad which might be a little better but this is completely portable which is pretty cool. So let's take a closer look at how Stage Manager works with iPad OS. All right, let's take a look at iPad OS and how Stage Manager works here. So I've got um, a, a pretty cool little portable setup here. I've got a, a Magic Mouse that is connected up to my iPad Pro. Uh, Logitech's uh, Keys to Go, which is a really cool um, keyboard, like portable keyboard. It's waterproof as well, or pretty water resistant. And then a Asus um, external monitor or Zen screen that's connected via USB-C to my uh, iPad 11 inch. 
and right now they're in mirroring mode so everything I'm doing on the iPad is showing up just on the um, on the send screen. If I swipe down on the iPad from the top right to bring up control center uh, there is a thing for stage manager here so if I go into stage manager that will activate that and now you'll see that I've got my iPad screen on the right and then I've got just a regular monitor um, almost looks like a Mac desktop on the left. Now one thing about this is to move across it's a little weird with your mouse pointer like if I go and try and move over it, it's not really moving over either left or right. I actually go up and uh, that gets me to the other screen which is just kind of a weird thing there. I don't really understand that but uh, let's open up some news feeds here. I've got my controls where I can swipe left and right. You'll see I've got a group here on the left hand side and then I can I can tap on that with my mouse and that brings up my group that I've got and I've got the ability to sort these windows and resize them. If I move down I can resize this one here uh, for Chrome and then I've got uh, Apple News open as well. I can come up here and I can resize this if I like. So it gives you a really nice working area to use. Let's look at settings and how this all gets set up and what you can do with that. All right, once you're in Stage Manager, you have different options and you have options for the iPad screen and for the external display. So the iPad screen will, uh, you can turn Stage Manager and multitasking off. You can go and use a split view or side slide over or use Stage Manager. So on the iPad, I'm, I'm just using split view and slide over, and then on the external display, I have stage manager turned on. And then screen mirroring was what we saw earlier. And then you have some other options as well on the iPad side. You could like start picture in picture automatically, um, some gesture options that you have available as well. And then on the external display, you can show your recent apps in the dock or you could just show not show the dock and then you have some gestures that you can program as well and that is how you turn on and off stage manager um, the three dots at the top of windows are you can click on that and you can move your windows over so I can move this over to the iPad or I could close the window I could go full screen here I'm gonna close out settings it'll bring my group back up and then I'm gonna move my mouse pointer down towards the dock here and that's going to move it over to my iPad and then of course on my iPad I have touch screen so I can swipe down here and I can um, turn stage manager on and off here. All right so that's a look at stage manager. For me I've tried stage manager on my MacBook and I just prefer to keep my windows open across my display. Because I have a widescreen monitor it works better for me. But when I'm just working on my MacBook screen, I'll sometimes turn on Stage Manager because I don't have that much screen real estate. On my iPad, Stage Manager makes more sense. And if you decide to connect an external monitor, I think you'd get more benefits using it. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried using Stage Manager? What was your experience like? I'd love to chat about it. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.